our special guest is an international prophetic voice, a minister and our friend, Mary Ann Peluso McGahan. Our co-hosts today are Marcella Woodall, Mondo De La Vega, and I'm Tammy Sue Baker. And now, direct from Gray Street at Morningside USA, here's your hosts, Pastor Jim and Lori Baker. Thank you, Tammy Sue Baker. Welcome, everyone. Hello, yes. Lori. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Love you so much. Appreciate you. We have Mary Ann here. We're talking about in Jim's latest book, You Can Make It, God's Faithfulness in Dark Times, P Past, Present, and Future. And I love how we put this on the book. Jim Baker, a watchman. And that's what he is. And that's what Marianne Peluso is. She is a watch woman. And I'll never yeah. forget Marianne. And I know I've told the story, so, you know, bear with me. If I, you get tired of hearing any of my stories, you know, as you get older, you repeat yourself. But, but this is a good, but it, it's, it's, it's a real story. It's true. And Marianne um, did my show with me one day. And then we came back up to the green room and Chris, and Marianne, her amazing husband, Chris, and um, Marianne, and we came in here to eat a little bite afterwards. And Marianne, just like Jim does, he was just so familiar. We're just, ha we're talking about family. You know, we'd already done, you know, major ministry. We're talking about family and all this. And, and all of a sudden, Marianne just turns to me abruptly. And she goes, do you know who you're married to? <laughs> <laughs> and I knew exactly what she meant in the spirit. I knew she was saying, you're married to a watchman. Uh, you're married to somebody who's called to warn, to watch. Yeah. And, um, and so she didn't have to explain it to me. I knew exactly what she meant. I said, yeah. I go, yes, ma'am. And I meant that very, you know, very respectively. Like, yes, ma'am. I mean, even though she's like a sister to me and we call each other sissy <laughs> and all that, you know. But it's like, I go, yes, ma'am. I do know. It, it was a real spirit-led thing. And it was a God moment. And, and she said, good. And then we went on to talking about family and love and life. And, and I'm like, that is such that? a Jim oh, Baker moment. I remember exactly where I was sitting and you were sitting. I remember it like it was yesterday. Me too. <laughs> yes, and not only that, Mary Ann, you know, she may not call herself a prophet. I don't know if you do or not, Mary Ann. Mm, to me, she you is. are a prophet. You're prophetic. You prophesied over my life. We've told this many times. I'm going to tell it again because it's so profound. That to think that I went into Bible school, it was called Master's Commission, in my own local church because I felt the call of God in my life. I knew I was birthed into ministry. I needed to, I needed training. I needed education. I needed the word. I needed to be taught, to be discipled. And Marianne came that first year in 1990. And, you know, that's the year little Lori was born, 1990. It's a big, that's a big year for me. You were born in 89, the year I got saved. And Lori was born in 1990. And that was the year Marianne brought a prophetic word to me and spoke over me and said that you are going to marry a man of influence, is the word you said. Influence. Mm -hmm. A man of influence. And here I am. I'm a broken, battered woman trying to, like, the last thing I really wanted at that time, I thought, you know, deep inside, was, you know, another guy. I was just like, mm, no, that doesn't do it for me. Like, I'm falling in love with Jesus. Yeah. You know, Jesus does it for me. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be married again. I don't want to go through all that drama. And yet, God had other plans. Yes, amen. And so Marianne spoke into my life in such a powerful way. And then I went about my life. And I went about, it wasn't like I was pursuing that uh, by any means. As a matter of fact, I went on for the next nine and a half years. And I was down in the inner city and met my kids, my family. Oh, that's another whole story. You love reaching out. That's, that's a group of our kids. That's some of them, right. And they all, can, there's a nana. I'm like, <laughs> I can look at these. But I have thousands of pictures. Oh. I'm just starting to try to go through a little bit here and there. Oh, I'm just so blessed. There's so many times I just, oh, if you guys could see all the pictures I have. We have it all there. And we, we try to put some of it on the screen, mm -hmm. but, you know, they're all in boxes and they need to get sorted out. Yeah, 
So do you remember those times? Oh, I remember, Lori. I remember thinking, oh, man, I wonder who this is going to be. I was jumping up and down she after was. I gave her the word. Like, I you, can't wait to see who and he And we is. jumped up and down together. And we then Because I'm, like, being kind of obedient. Like, you, I was being obedient. That's what I was being was. How does God put us together? I mean, how does it happen? So, because I, I saw you, like, four years the, fir I fought, the first oh, yeah. time I saw you. We could do a whole show you know, just oh, on all this. And, and, it's pretty fascinating. And, Janet Porter kind of pulled up, pulled it yes. all out of us the other day after the broadcast. And, and but I, I, you know, she interviewed I always us say I privately. fell in love with her when I saw her on stage when my first time. After school, 1995, on a stage. February, wow. Phoenix First Assembly. After prison. It was yes. at Tommy Burnett's church. There was approximately 10,000 pastors, Christian leaders from all over the world. And, and Jamie was giving his testimony, Jim's son, um, and it, the, Jim was hidden in the back, and it, it was a big risk on pastor, my pastor, Tommy Barnett. But and I was on stage, the whole point was, I was on stage that exact, right before uh, Jamie gave his testimony, mm. you know Pastor Barnett, he, gave, he would allow only at, uh, at the pastor <laughs> school, three, you get there were three testimonies that he chose personally to give to 10,000 pastors and Christian leaders from all over the world. And he chose my story. And it was right before. So I was up on stage in front of all these amazing men and women of God and telling, you know, the, the, the craziness of my teens and my 20s, the abortions, sex, the drugs, the rock and roll, how to, you know, the old saying. Mm -hmm. And I remember standing there going, I can't believe I'm saying this to all these Christian leaders. They're probably going to be like, we need a lot girl needs to be, a, she needs a lot of help. <laughs> but, um, but, but look what God had. He had Jim Baker way hidden in the back of the mm -hmm. sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And so you can picture it, Mary, and I way know. in the back, right? He was back there. And, and Jim, I mean, Pastor called him up like only Tommy Barnett could do and had him come up on stage. And so Jim passed right by me. I was on the front row because I just had gotten through giving my testimony. Now, another point of that story is Marisala, true story. Mm -hmm. The kids, I brought the kids, Marisala, little Lori, Sergio. Oh. So I brought them with me to church that night, went and picked them up in the inner mm -hmm. city, brought them, and they were up on the same stage before me. And they, you even saw her, and you didn't even know you saw your <laughs> future daughter. My daughter, and I didn't yeah. know it. Right. Yeah. And, and they were little kids singing the song that we taught yes. them on bus routes, I Will I Call, call upon, upon the Lord. Lord. And we have our, <laughs> and we had our own little, you yes. know, movement to do with little <laughs> kids. Right. And they all got up there and did this for all these pastors and, mm -hmm. and Christian leaders. Amazing. It was pretty amazing. So she was on stage, and little Lori, and Sergio, and I was on stage, and then you Isn't were on that stage. Amazing? We were wow. all in the same spot at the same moment. It's pretty incredible. Amazing. And I wasn't scheduled to speak or anything. I would just oh, hide there in to back hear there. And Jamie's Tommy Burnett testimony. just said, "Jim, come on down." I'm like, like and you I'm to like, do. oh my god. Yeah. I, and I was scared. He was scared. Lori said I looked like a scared rabbit or something. Mm -hmm. I'm going up there and. and I spoke. You wouldn't even turn around. He wouldn't even turn around. We have the video to prove it. He well, wouldn't they had even... a bunch of bikers in the in the front <laughs> of the thing there. So I I preached to them because yeah. I knew yeah. they'd all been in prison. <laughs> so yeah, they... yeah. He he uh, wouldn't even turn around to. He was so afraid of the of the Christians that but, he wouldn't but, even turn around. But Pastor and Jamie turned you around. You um. You were so afraid of that they would spit mm. on you, but you know what they did? This mm. is what the body of Christ, what I'm about mm. to tell you. Amen. This is what we're supposed to do. Mm. We're supposed to restore yes. and, 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 and the spirit of meekness. And I will tell you that those amazing 10,000 Christian leaders from mm. all over the country, mm. they stood and applauded for at least 10 minutes. Amen. And they were yelling out, Jim, we love you, Jim. Yes. We love wow. you, Jim. I mean, Amen. it was a moment wow. in church history. And I don't even know how we got off on that, but 
but it yeah. was a but moment. But you're kind of like a part of this. Oh, you, you, that's you, reality. You, part. you were prophesying over Lori yes. before that. That is exactly what I saw, that yeah. God was going to have her on a platform before millions. Wow. And I remember saying millions. You did say that. And that, that was coming that to he pass. Would get, that, and he would, she would marry a... Wonderful man, right? Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> he is wonderful. Oh. <laughs> but you prophesied that, and that's one of the reasons I honor you as a prophet, because I, you prophesied and it come true. Yes. That's all. Amen. And, and that's I what just prophets do. <laughs> Amen. I just obeyed the Lord. I, you know, I didn't think there was anything great of me. The Word was great. I'm not great, but the Word was great. And here we are today. Hmm. And All God orchestrated playing. you on the same day as that testimony. It's what amazing. are the chances of that? Could have happened. I know, but we talk about it. We kind of kid about it. And someday we'll do shows about it because it is kind of, it's, we can really tell the story. Yeah. And I really, I believe I fell in love with her from <laughs> afar. Oh, she was beautiful. Not Thank inside and out. But we never years. met each other, did we, on that stage? Four years later. We met <gasps> four years later. Four years. Wow. That's terrible. At the Dream Center. <laughs> That's terrible. I was so lonely. I was so lonely. I you was were lonely, so but lonely. I needed, obviously, God needed to work on me a little bit more. Uh, you know that. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, of course. I was growing in the Lord. I was, I was just loving ministry. I'm not ministry. sure he ever finishes with us. <laughs> no, absolutely yeah. not. It was just, <laughs> oh man, Jim. Well, you know better than that. Everybody knows God's not finished with us. Until mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. we get to heaven. Yeah. That's right. Well, we got a great uh, message that we're never going to get through. We started <laughs> a month times. ago. <laughs> we did. Yesterday, though, we started talking about the first of the stages for mm -hmm. the days to come that I wrote about in my new book. Right. Stage one is confusion. Mm -hmm. Right. We talked about that yesterday. So stage two is what? Well, Ezekiel 7 is a preview of what Jesus shared about the end in the gospel and the judgments and revelation. Mm -hmm. In a sense, we are talking about a time of unrest. Mm -hmm. The Greek word used in the scripture here means disorder, mm -hmm. instability, wow. uh, turmoil, yes. Marianne, yes, turmoil. <laughs> upheaval, yes. mayhem. Yes. Doesn't this look like America today to you? Yes. Absolutely. And wow. bedlam is in there, which mm. is mental instability and not being able to operate with common sense. Wow. That sounds like the whole population today has gone mad. This wow. is where we are, yeah. Lack of common sense. Wow. We have a rule in that describes what we're talking about. Let's watch this first. Now to that urgent evacuation at a popular Spanish tourist destination, a volcano erupting for the first time in decades. And this is uh, on Spain's Canary Islands, very popular series of islands just off the coast of North Africa. And the pictures are absolutely extraordinary. Rivers of red flowing through homes. With U.S. combat troops set to withdraw from Iraq by the end of this year, the Iraqi people, especially Christians, and America's Kurdish friends in northern Iraq may be facing even greater danger. But uh, starting 2019, ISIS activity started again. And these attacks, it is really Iran showing its infiltration, its might. That crowd of thousands gathered under just one bridge in the Rio Grande Valley. It doubled in the last 24 hours. Nearly 10,000 migrants remain in a temporary staging area because Border Patrol just can't handle them all. And another 10,000 are expected right behind them. This is as bad as I've ever seen it. There is no southern border. It's pure chaos. There are literally thousands of migrants that have come, and there's tens of thousands on the way. They came from Brazil and Venezuela and other places, and they came because they got the message 
that there is no southern border and that the Biden administration has opened the floodgates and this is your chance to go to America. Inflation is now the top issue for voters. A new Fox News poll shows 82% of those surveyed say they are extremely or very concerned about runaway prices. We're going to hear from the Federal Reserve this week. They have a two-day meeting and they will answer questions about how temporary it has been given we are seeing price spikes on all sorts of kitchen ta table items like chicken, commodities. Uh, the price of lumber has come down, but many expect it to continue going up uh, and resume the uh, spike because we've got supply disruptions. Now, food at home prices are up 3% year over year. And if we take a look at certain products, we know beef up more than 12%, pork up nearly 10 poultry up 7%. Longer, hotter droughts are more likely in the western United States, even with severe cuts to greenhouse gas emissions. You know, warmer temperatures mean less snow, they mean earlier snow melt, and they mean more evaporation. Resulting in less water available on the surface for people and ecosystems. Mm. Wow. Mm. This confusion mm. has set the stage for the four horsemen of the apocalypse, which are riding, and I believe that mm. with all my heart. Mm. It's more and more believers fall away from the faith or continue to sleep. It'll become increasingly difficult to sound the watchman's trumpet. Do you believe that, Marianne? Absolutely, absolutely. We're, we're, hearing, um, we're hearing the noise, the galloping. If your ears are open, if you have eyes to see, yeah. excuse me, yes. and ears to hear. If you're seeking God, you're going to know these things. Yeah. And when you hear these things, it's not going to be, oh, no, things are out of control. You're going to hear the voice of God. Mm -hmm. It's going to be succinct. It's going to be uh, love mm -hmm. mixed with warning, mixed with uh, information of where we are. You know, the tribe of Issachar, they knew the times so that they yeah. knew what to do. They did. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Stage two is explosions in 2012. Mm. The Lord told me these explosions were the second part mm. of the confusion. Mm. These explosions refer to the rapid expansion of this confusion. Mm -hmm. We have seen explosions in the area of persecution, lawlessness, yes. and the reprimate mind. Marianne, the Lord spoke to you that there is an acceleration of wickedness mm -hmm. and violence. Is that mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the fruit of disobedience. You know, in chapter 28 of Deuteronomy, you allude to it in your book. And you talk about these things, how that, you know, it was God's grace. I love Brother Wilkerson said, it was God's grace that clothed Adam and Eve in the garden. You know, they tried to put fig leaves on and, and, and God said, no, no, that you can't do that. I, and so he, he put skins on them. It was so it was his grace that covered them, but it was his, you can't do that. I, and so he, he put skins on them. It was so it was his grace that covered them, but it was his justice that drove them out of Eden. We, we can't. We can't do the things we do in this earth and expect God and, and, and not expect the sowing and reaping. There are principles of the kingdom. There's, you know, you step off of a platform, uh, the law of gravity, there are laws. And we're in a time of, of reaping. We're in a time of harvest. Everyone's talking about a harvest. Well, there is a harvest. And that's what we're seeing right now. It's the result of disobedience in the world. Wow. Extreme rebellion against God. This is something people can't get. They think they can rebel against anything they want. So to rebel against God is just rebelling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Mm -hmm. Rebelling against God is eternal damnation. It's, it's, right. it's, it's, you know, you're put on earth is like a test zone. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, yes. I mean, God is a loving God. He's sending these warnings, these volcanoes, yes. these explosions. Uh, when I came to the Lord, it wasn't the fluff that brought me to him. When I realized that I should be burning, when I realized that I deserved hell, 
it was so sweet when Jesus, the realization that he forgave me. Yes. So he's trying to get our attention. Yes. He's trying to warn us. It's his love saying, stop, I love you. We're headed for destruction. This America, will America repent? I don't think that a society will repent. Believe people will within that. But if we think we're going to change society, if we think we're going to go in and Without clean a up supernatural the move of God, like bam from heaven, you know. Right. There's not, it, it would, it, and I'm with you. And I, I know some of you even love me. Say, I don't like that, Jim. That's, what do you call it? It's false prophets or something. You think, oh, you're just negative. What's the, they call prophets? Gloom. Prophets are gloom. gloom. Yeah. I'm telling you, You've got to get into the scripture. My biggest problem is I went to prison and spent five years studying the word of God and learned what comes next. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you learn what's coming next, you want to warn the people because it's going to come whether we like it or not. Yes. Amen. There's nowhere That's in the Bible it says in the last days it's going to be honey and sugar and spice and everything nice. It's just not in the Bible. Wow. No, and because God is so merciful and loving and patient, people mistake that for, oh, it'll never happen. But we are there. Yeah. We are there. Yeah, would, we you, are. Would, you, would you all, if you have not ordered yes. Tom Horn's book, his newest book, Zeit, I have the it with me 2025, yet. and as a bonus, you would re you'll receive the Secret Destiny of America Revealed DVD, which is mind-blowing, yes. I can tell you. That's a two-hour-long like, video, right? Nothing yes. I've ever seen before. Two hours and eight minutes, you mm -hmm. want to know the exact minute. Mm -hmm. And that is powerful. You said, I'm, if you ever sat and listened to somebody talk for that long. You have me be, probably before, aren't we? Yeah. If you've ever been to my services <laughs> where I got long-winded. <laughs> but this, it, it, it just, you know, it's, we just, have, it's just shocking yeah. because he tells us that he believes within four years we're going to have the, the pr tribulation period. It, it will begin. And I think it's important to understand the title of this book is the definition is the defining spirit or mood of a period of time in history shown by ideas and beliefs of that time. So what we're experiencing right now is leading up all the way up to why he believes the tribulation will start in four years. So when you look at the timeline of what we're going through right now in this period of time, will lead us into the time of what he believes and writes about the time of tribulation. This is why we, Marianna and I were talking about this. And listen, the church is as guilty as the world for not understanding the time and period that we're in right now because we're preaching another gospel and we have a, another gospel it has infiltrated the church for this time in this period to I, what I believe to be my own opinion, mm. to distract us from what Tom Horn is writing about. There's a distraction in the church happening, even in the circle of the prophetic realm, to distract us to what Jesus wrote about in Matthew 24, that what will be the signs of his return and if we are getting closer to the signs of his return, right. then that means that even the very elect will be deceived from within. If there's another gospel being preached, and then there's another gospel being prophesied, and there's distraction in the body of Christ. Can I say this? And you can edit it out if you want no, to. No, you can't edit it. But I'm going to tell you this. If the church hasn't graduated from, from learning spiritual warfare, something is wrong with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something is wrong with us. When mom told me, take the trash out. Why would she need to do that every single year to remind me? No, I will learn the first time, take the trash out, get it out for this reason, for that reason, get the trash every year. I know what my duty is. Why would she need to teach me over and over and over to take the? Eventually you get tired. Doesn't, doesn't Mondo not learn? Do I have to keep telling him? 
I think he will have enough common sense to get my message. That's the same thing about the church. If we haven't graduated mm -hmm. about spiritual warfare and teaching it and over and over and over and over, something is wrong with us because what God is trying to prepare the church for the visions and the dreams of some of the things that have to take place, we are in trouble. You said something before we got here. Don't listen. This man right here is so in tune with what's happening. I'm shocked because that itch that you have, if your voice disappears today, there will be probably one of the greatest void nationally in the body of Christ like we never yeah. seen before yeah, because the pillow yeah. prophets yeah. are distracting us from the hour that Jesus has warned you to get the body of Christ prepared. Mm -hmm. I know you, you have a lot of common sense. Mm -hmm. In my book and in the book of a lot of people, you are one of the rare geniuses that this world has given us. And I know you. Why would a, a guy that has a lot of common sense be preaching about prosperity in the coming apocalypse? Why would a man that has been teaching and, and talking and having common sense be warning people 10 years before this pandemic hit? Why would anybody do that in their right mind, right? Mm -hmm. Do you, you remember that we held that book up yeah. 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago yes. now probably? Yes. Now what, what, did, how, what was the final conclusion of that book? How many people died in the Great Influence? Over 100 million people is estimated. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how many now over. in the world? We, now we, we now, have surpassed, we surpassed I just heard the 1918 yes. Influenza book. Yes. We have surpassed. And they, 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 in 1918, they mocked them and wouldn't be ready. Mm -hmm. And they died. They died until the dead bodies were stacked in the cities, in the morgues, mm -hmm. in the round. The, the mm -hmm. smell was so bad, people couldn't tolerate it. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and they were told not to go to parades, not to get in public places. And I was warning... Ten years ago, there was coming something that you would have to stay isolated. I love current affairs. I'm like crazy about current affairs. I love them. And the thing is, I'm constantly watching current affairs, constantly watching. And the state of confusion is, it, it, it's so mind-boggling. It's so rampant. If you don't stay in the Word of God and know the mm -hmm. truth, now you go into your, um, you go into the set, the second, the explosions. But here's what you say in, in this part. This is all. His, Jim talks about these five different things that will be happening. But he said this is where we see the persecutions. This is on page 137. If you have your book by Jim <laughs> Baker, wow. this is where we see. The persecution we've been warned about in Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13 come into play. This is the ultimate issue with what I call happy church and false gospel. As Christians, we cannot expect our lives to be smooth without incident. Jesus said we will be hated by all wow. nations for my name's sake. Matthew, Luke, Mark also And this write. is what translates according to the reports... Michael Moore compares Christian conservatives to the Taliban. They are religious nuts. That's persecution. Yeah. And they keep saying that type of thing over and over and over, and over, and over mm -hmm. until they're branding mm -hmm. the church. Wow. Wow. They're branding the church. Yes. That's right. We're in the very end time. I, I want you to get this tape, the tape in the in the book. Yeah, it's from a DVD, Tom Horn. It's a DVD. It's a two-hour DVD and the book. And you're going to your mind is going to be. You're going <laughs> to. I don't know what other word to use. <laughs> um, it's hard. Here, listen, we have a B-roll. Let's let's look at the B-roll about this the book. book. Yeah. Zeitgeist. All right. Twenty twenty-five. I have spent a lifetime uncovering secrets buried beneath the sands of time by those who want them to remain concealed in mystery. 
but I did not expect to discover a series of clues from the future that were suddenly made known, the saga of which will now be revealed. It is the names of the secret society members, the founding fathers that set America on course to an enigma. Before and after the presidency of Donald Trump, the United States was, and now is again, on a trajectory to fulfill what famous Freemason Manley P. Hall described as the secret destiny of America. It is the prophecy on the great seal of the United States, a scheme hidden in plain sight by the founding fathers for more than 200 years, foretelling the return of a terrifying demonic god who seizes control of Earth in the new order of the ages. The prophecy indicates he will arrive in 2025. Now, Dr. Horn's research has uncovered an anomaly he never expected to find. Clues 200 years in the making, which unlock the riddle of Zeitgeist 2025, and what the world is not ready to receive. Hidden secrets and forgotten prophecies from Kumaran forecasting the year 2025 as the final age of man. How the current U.S. government is tied to America's occult destiny. Why historians and intelligence agencies foresee a totalitarian world government by 2025. How America's capital city is laid out to actuate a rival of Antichrist. Zeitgeist 2025. Wow. wow. Give, I don't know if we should applaud something like that because it's just, but he, he did a job yeah. of writing this. Probably his greatest work. It, it, I, it, it, I believe it's his greatest that. work. Yeah. I, I believe it's going to be the best seller I of all time. I believe yeah. so too. And I want you to order them now. We have them in stock. So everybody can receive the book and the DVD. It's a bonus DVD offer for a donation to the ministry of $35. Yes. That includes shipping and handling this. If there's something. anything they've ever ordered, oh, Lori, yes, I agree. have them order. I agree. Yes. Give them the phone number. Do yes. something. Yeah. Yeah. Stand on your wow. head. Do something because you got to do it. That's I mean, right. you just got to read the book. Every so help me. You don't have to listen to me, but read the book. Listen to the tape. If you don't do anything else, come on. You go and do stupid stuff. Yeah. We all do. We've all gone out and bought something yeah. stupid. We've all gone to some big a show or something, pay $25 ticket to get in. Well, this is $35 for a book. And the, there's a $45 offer for $35. And it's probably the most important thing I can ask you to do. Because it, I, I know, Marianne, I'm, you're just aching to get your hands on oh. this book and on, on this tape. But I would watch the DVD ASAP yes. the minute you get it. Yep, and absolutely. you were going to be so driven to read we're, the book. We actually manufacture the tape. So it's being manufactured here right mm -hmm. now. So yeah. mm -hmm. they'll be here. Yeah. In, a, in a few uh, days. That's on. right. And I know but that Tom uh, also said, Jim... Can also, you sense the need for this? He yeah. also said, though, that every pastor yes, needs this. That's every what I single believe. pastor needs this. Now, uh, Pastor, uh, pastor Joe and Becky, you know, we need to make sure and get this to Pastor Joe and Becky. Yes. Nana, mm -hmm. they need Absolutely. this. Pastor Joe needs this. Every they single all do. pastor needs this in today to understand what's yes. really what's really gone on, yes. how demonic you know they're talking everything about really is in the day of Noah. Is. And they d the thing they did in the day of Noah, they laughed. Mm. Right, they mocked. To the end. Yes. And that's what they're going to do in America if we don't get some people yeah. wo nope. woke up. <laughs> we need to wake up. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. There it is right there. That's that's it. It. Amen. That is knowledge. God yes. is dropping into our laps. Yeah. I cannot wait. Yes. I just can't wait to get off the set and get home and <laughs> put it in. <laughs> Mando, the, uh, the La Palma yes. volcano yes. in uh, in Spain. And, and uh, what island is that? This is the Canary Island. Get this. Again, this is all prophetic to the timeline that we're seeing right now. This is according to the last few days 
meaning within 24 hours, the island has registered up to 1,000 earthquakes in the past few days alone. They are raising to evacuate thousands on the Canary Island of La Palma as Cumbre Vieja, that means Old Summit Volcano erupts for the first time in 50 years, sending lava cascading towards towns. I want to show you a report, then we can talk about it when we come back. People need to understand. Let's watch this video to explain to you the eruption taking place in the Canary Islands. The spectacular eruption sent lava shooting hundreds of meters into the night sky. Vivid orange rivers of molten rock poured down the hill, tearing a path through woods and farmland. The lava, moving at 700 metres an hour at a temperature of almost 1,000 degrees, spread as it reached lower ground. The Cumbre Vieja volcano on the Spanish Canary Island of La Palma last erupted in 1971. It straddles a ridge in the south of the island, home to more than 80,000 people. The Spanish Civil Guard says it's helping evacuate up to 10,000 people. I am very scared. We were warned, but we didn't expect it. I heard the explosion, turned off the fryer, took our dog and the parrot, and we had to leave in a rush. Authorities began evacuating vulnerable people and some farm animals from nearby villages before the eruption at 3.15 in the afternoon. Two hours later, with lava bearing down from five holes torn into the hillside, authorities ordered the evacuation of four more towns. For the people living in its path, it's a tragedy. One stream of lava, hundreds of metres long and tens of metres wide, crossed a road and began engulfing homes in El Paso. It was a powerful, powerful explosion. There were loads of tremors, but I couldn't imagine it would be so sudden. Scientists had warned an eruption was coming. A so-called earthquake swarm under the volcano caused thousands of tremors in the last week. People were on guard, but nothing could have prepared them for this. Wow. That, okay, let me just I, say this, Mondo. I got to say it because I'm just I'm just seeing this for the very first time. This woman just said, and this is what's going on in the church. Listen, this woman just said, we were warned, but didn't expect it. Mm. Doesn't that sound like yes. now? Mm -hmm. you've, got, you've got two people up here warning, warning you. the church. And warning the church, which is yes. you. But we didn't expect it. I've been and warning about man, the Canary Islands for you a decade, probably. More than that. 19, when you came out of prison, you started warning, then you wrote yeah, it down that's right. on this book and the books after And the that. scientists have warned us for a decade that when that thing goes, and it's going right now, we don't know when it's going to go all the way or if it ever go all the way, but I tell you what, it's pretty, pretty powerful right now. Listen, you got to understand the perspective of this. Each, but it will wipe out the east coast of the United States. I want to show you. If it Can happens. I show you what it will look like? Because you have to understand yes. this yes. eruption, just to put into perspective, each piece of lava shooting up is about the size of a vehicle. That's huge. Yeah. Let me show you so you can understand what would take place if this island, half of the island is already breaking up, but if this volcano happens to slide down into the sea, it will create what they're calling a mega tsunami. Not my words. Those are the experts' words. You can go and research for yourself. I'm not saying nothing that I'm, I haven't researched or our team hasn't researched, but can I show you what yeah. it will look like? I would just like? ask Marianne, have you read about this? Oh. Do you, you, we're not talking off the top of our no, heads. No, 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 no. It, it is. It, talk about backed with science. Yeah. We're talking, put your Bible Yeah, you next keep to hearing the, the president and Maul talk about science. Yes, this is science. This it is science. That really at its best, it's been, been working on these things for all these years, yeah. warned us what could happen. And it, it can literally wipe out mm -hmm. the East Coast. The, the capital could be gone. The New York City could be gone. Mm -hmm. uh, the ca Florida. All of Florida be, could be gone. It, it is, it's beyond anything mankind has ever seen before. And these are the kind of events that God has spoke to me are going to happen. They're going to be events here, events there, earthquakes here. 
I've been in Hawaii. My God. There's a there's a one place in Hawaii right now, Mondo. Yeah. I used to be a, a counter of earthquakes. <laughs> do, do you know what I'm talking about? There's yes, a, sir. <laughs> there's an island in Hawaii <laughs> right now that I don't know how many earthquakes oh. hit there this month. Yeah, just this month, over 500. 500? Yes. That's, that's what's the shocking is a lot of these areas that are, you know, people are paying attention to, they're having more than multiple, that's you know, I mean, just the Canary Island one is, has over 1,000 within a few days. Now? Right now, within 1,000, and, and people are evacuating. you got to understand the magma underneath those volcanoes are heating up due to the drought that this world ex is experiencing. Mm -hmm. Listen, we're not even talking about what's happening in the West Coast. At the right. same time that this Canary Island is taking place, activity, volcanic activity is taking place in, in, in Mount Rainier, one of the most <laughs> devastating events in America that can take place. It's in the West Coast of the United States, but that's happening at the same time. So this drought, Pay attention to what the talk is in the UN right now. Can I tell you something? I, I'm just a student. The, this is the 76th session. The number 76 signals the beginning and end of an era. The beginning and the end of something. And as you pay attention to what they're talking about, their second biggest national, international, worldwide movement is going to be climate change. And God is about to show off. Oh, you want to see climate change? <laughs> Wait till yeah, I show you what I'm right. all about. I, I need to show you this mega tsunami that we're talking about. Because if you haven't seen this, pray for America. Pray for the nations. All we're doing is just asking you to pray as we show you this. Watch this. This could happen right now. This is happening right now. So the whole thing that you've talked about for years, Jim, the Canary Islands and the Eastern Seaboard and all around, it could happen now. If this is the beginning. I believe with all my heart that we're living in this time where mm. it's going to be so many things happening yeah, in different that, places. Yes. Yeah. And I believe that if this tsunami goes, that it is a God sign, a judgment on America, because our capital will be gone, New York City will be gone, all the all the the East Coast will be gone. And this is you say it. Yeah. Listen, this is not to scare. If you're listening and you're thinking or you're saying within yourself or talking among yourselves and saying, Well, it's just fear mongering. They're just trying to scare us. Mm. No. This is a wake-up call. This yeah, is warning. God's love through Amen. this ministry and through this telecast waking you up and telling you we are, Jesus is coming. Yeah, yeah. If Amen. you are ready, you yeah. will be excited. That's right. Amen. This is good news. This is to prepare you, not scare you. That's yeah. it. Amen. That's exactly right. I mean, what a God of love. Here's the thing. All of our government's talking about is... We want to be assured, you know, we want mm -hmm. to have science. We want to have research. We want science, science. You got science. I've been teaching you about these islands for at least a decade, right? I, I would say 20 some years. Uh, yeah, I would, that say, since, far? I would yes, say since I met you. So you can you <laughs> date my book. Uh, yes. I've been in those right. Bible studies at the Dream Center. <laughs> really? right? What are you yeah. Mary? I, how does he know about really? Cumbre Vieja? Yes. I mean, I mean yeah. those, listen, you have been warning Year after year it's, after year. The word about persecution was the most sobering word I was given for 2020. Mm -hmm. For one key reason. The Lord did not say that the attacks would stop. Mm -hmm. He spoke to me that they were going to be in a different way mm -hmm. this year. And I, tomorrow I could tell you almost what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to happen. And, 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 and these attacks are coming. Marianne, do you want to sing or do you want to <laughs> preach? I mean, you have your choice because we're running out of time. I, I, was, I had you booked for another song I, today. I, I, would really like, I would really like to say something. You're my guest. You're supposed to have the whole show. Well, and I'm a very honored 
And I love you all very much for who you are and being obedient to this call, to this mandate, because few are willing to do it. And God loves us so much. We haven't listened to the prophets, so God's speaking through nature. Hmm. In Matthew 23, he said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the monuments of the righteous and say, If we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would have not been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Therefore, you are witnesses against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill them up, the measure of your father's guilt. Serpents, brood of vipers, how can you escape the condemnation of hell? Therefore, indeed, I send you prophets, wise men and scribes. Some of them you will kill and crucify, and some of them you will scourge in your synagogues and persecute from city to city. And I've got D, period, W, period, David Wilkerson. How, we didn't receive his word. Right. You know what Jesus said about John the Baptist? There has never been a greater prophet. Yes. Why? You know what it means to be a prophet in this hour? Do you want to know? Do you want to be a prophet? Mm. John the Baptist, Jesus said, was the greatest. Yes. And what did John the Baptist do? He declared that the coming of the Lord. Yes. He Amen. was the preparation for Jesus' yes. coming. And his message was, are you ready? Repent. Ooh. Oh, no, it's not revival. It's not harvest. Yeah. It's not signs and wonders. That's it's right. repent. Wow. Yes. Yes. That's where we are. Yes. Yes. You want to be a prophet? Prophesy that. Can you? We've crucified the prophets that God wow. has sent us. Mm -hmm. He's been, you've been one yes. of them, Jim. Right. People have crucified you. People have tired of people talking about you. Oh, they're just selling their money, you know, their food and this and that and all. You know what? I know this man. I know this ministry. My husband and I support this ministry. And if they didn't love you, if they didn't love God, they wouldn't be obedient to this. Yes. And Amen. it breaks my heart that there are people out there that minimize the watchman call, the true watchman call. God bless you. God bless you with long life and lots Amen. of finances Amen. to do what you're called to do. Amen. Amen. Listen, can I say one last thing? I've yeah. got to say this. I've, yes. God woke me. I've been up since 4.30. I went to bed at 2. Mm -hmm. I don't sleep anymore. My husband can tell you. Four hours is a good night's sleep for me. Mm. Jim, this ministry, you want a word? I got a word. Daniel 10, 19. And he said, O oh man, greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be to you. Be strong. Yes, be strong. This is Daniel 10, 19. So when he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, let my Lord speak for you. It strengthened me. God is going to continue to strengthen you so that you can speak what he's called you to speak in this hour. Amen. And we are the most blessed for being loved enough to be warned. Amen. Thank you. We love you. It's a good word. Amen. We didn't finish our message yet. <laughs> Maybe you can come back. We'll do in part three. De but deception will eventually cause depression. Ooh. And that's where we are right now. Deception. We've never seen deception like we've seen it. Our leaders are deceived. Mm -hmm. And they've deceived us. Mm -hmm. And it's causing great, great depression. Mm -hmm. I, I believe we entered this stage at the end of 2020. I believe right now we're full blown into the greatest deception America has ever known. America in full blast is turning against God. Completely. I, I, I believe that we entered into this stage at the end of 2020. Mm. And I believe that the love of money has paved the way for destruction. In, 1980, in 1998, David Wilkerson made this very clear in his book, America's last call. Mondo, I don't know 
boy, I'm, oh, we're out of time. Yeah, let's do it I, next time. Page 145, I don't know if you have that. He said, day after day, our prosperity here in America grows, yet we have not humbled ourselves. We're storing up God's wrath against us, and soon he'll pour it out. Wow. End of quote, David Wilkerson. Wow. Marianne, you say we're in the thick of it now. How has the last year been similar to the time right after 9-11? Well, I believe the Lord showed me that after 9-11, like we are in the same place. After 9-11, everyone went back to their life. Uh, some of the prayer meetings after the, during the lockdown, yeah. the prayers went like this. Oh, God, heal us. Oh, God, take this virus away. The message that God was speaking through this and trying to use it was... Repent. Yes. Uh, repent. Right. Of what? Compromise, yes. leaving our first love, lukewarmness. You know, there's a mixture. You can't get lukewarm without having hot and cold. Yes. There's a mixture. The, the church, Christianity has been such mixture. And so I see that we're going back into that time. And guess what? There's got to be more wake up, wake up calls, mm -hmm. more you know, a judgment is really justice. It's a verdict yeah. based on the actions of That's a person. Right. Mm -hmm. wow. You go before a judge, mm -hmm. he's not going to throw the book at you if you don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. And all God is doing right now is speaking and saying, I love you. I have to judge you. I'm a holy God. My government is in motion, um, but you're not listening. And I want you to listen. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I'm allowing and I'm doing wow. this. You know, those volcanoes are a sign. God's yes. using nature. Yeah, you want a sign? You want a wonder? Yeah. Oh, I want signs and wonders. Well, there you go. There you wow. go. Oh, Our right. time's so gone today. Yeah. The, the fifth one, collapse, mm. is the, the fifth point, mm -hmm. the collapse. Wow. wow. I prophesied that a worldwide economic collapse was coming, and it's, it's happening worldwide right now. It's building mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, all this, I will say, all this is written in your book, You Can Make It, God's Faithfulness <laughs> in Dark Times, Past, Present, and Future. Jim Baker, a uh, watchman. It is in this book, all these five, th these five different points that we're making, mm -hmm. these stages that we're talking about, it's all in Jim's book. You can receive one for $30 donation to the ministry, which it's a hardback book, includes shipping and handling, or you can receive three You Can Make It book offer for a donation to the ministry is $75, and that includes shipping and handling, or even better yet, you can receive t uh, the, the Baker's Dozen, which is 13 for a donation to the ministry of $200. You can pass these out. It taught, you know, there's our story in here about everything that we went through, but also it is it has so much more prophetic in it than it does the story. Mm -hmm. So you need to read this yes. book. and. Amen. Maybe they could get one for their friends yeah. Yeah. if they already have one. Mm -hmm. get one. I really want them to read that book. Yeah. I really, really do. Mm -hmm. We worked really hard on that book. Mm -hmm. Our whole family worked on that book. Mm -hmm. And it has something to say. Yes. And uh, you'll understand what's going on. That's right. Yeah. Why God's keeping me alive. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne, is the stage being set for total chaos and... <laughs> controlled collapse yeah mm -hmm. yeah there there's a plan in, that's been set in motion um and i believe the confirmation of this will be on tom horn's mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. info this is a control that will be a controlled collapse um getting the this nation in debt and all the other nations in debt it'll be a global collapse that will usher in um, a man that will come up with an answer. You know, mm -hmm. they create a crisis because wow. they have an answer in mind. And so what's happening is there's a plan that's being executed behind the scenes because they have uh, a narrative and they're going to use the, a planned crisis to get 
to get this man on the scene. Mm. That's how That's close right. we are. Yeah. And it's, it's, and this yeah. is just, I mean, the Lord's been showing me this yeah. is a, a planned right. collapse. It That's is. Right. It's wow. absolutely, it's all designed. We it's all, all we know that, right? Don't yeah. you know that? We know that that yeah. this is all by That's design? Right. It really is. That's what people it, don't, yeah. Yeah, that, it's so, di it's so diabolical. Yeah. Yes. That is planned. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our planned starvation, our planned destruction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, a few days ago, God gave you a word about the ark or something, and about oh, an ark, and, oh. and and I wanted to do that. I, we're out of time. I but know. Do you have a minute, or uh, will, it's too much? As sure as as sure as destruction is being planned by those behind the scenes, and prophecy is being fulfilled, God's got an ark. Noah had mm. an ark that was made of hands. God has an ark that was made with the hands that were crucified on a cross. Yeah. The only safety in this hour is to get, it's gonna be an intimacy and a close relationship with God. Yeah. It's gonna be surrendering everything. Yeah. It's gonna be seeking God. Yeah. It's gonna be being with people of like faith. Yeah. Amen. The ark is the person of Jesus. Mm. Amen. Amen. Our and into his body of Christ, Mm -hmm. which he said he will build yeah. his church mm -hmm. and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. The only way out is through Christ. Amen. The only way to survive is through Christ. Amen. Jesus himself promised, and remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Amen. God Amen. loves Amen. you. I have to go. He